the 6090 from Baseline Technologies offers solutions for vibration measurement, condition monitoring based on FFT, and in position dynamic balancing of rotors in a single, portable, rechargeable, battery-operated unit which fits into a briefcase. The unit is equipped with a 7-inch color LCD screen with touch commands. For FFT analysis, switch the unit on and press the FFT option from the home screen. To start the continuous FFT, press on the start key. The FFT graph will be displayed on the screen and tabular results of peaks observed are shown on the screen. To stop the analysis, press stop. The measurement mode can be set directly from this page by pressing on the mode key. The user can switch between velocity, displacement, and acceleration. The user can also change the number of averaging and the type of waiting window by simply clicking on the respective buttons. The print of the FFT table for quick reference or reporting can be taken by connecting the supplied printer provided by Baseline Technologies which is a standard accessory of the 6090. Simply press on the print icon and the printer will print the report. Another very useful feature provided is the zoom option. Press on the zoom button at the bottom of the screen to zoom into the low frequencies up to 256 Hz. The 6090 supports virtually limitless storage. To save the FFT, just press on the Save button at the top. Enter the machine name and location name to save the graph and the table. The saved file can be retrieved anytime from the home page by clicking on the File option. For order analysis, switch the instrument on and select the order option from the home screen. The RPM sensor needs to be connected and properly set up to use this analysis. Order analysis separates rotational or reciprocating vibration into orders. The first order is the reference value that corresponds with the machine's rotational speed. In other words, the first order and the frequency of the rotation are the same value. The subsequent orders 2, 3, 4, etc. are a multiple of that value.
For time waveform analysis, click on the time wave tab from the home screen. Thereafter, press start to get the waveform for that moment. Time waveform analysis is useful because the waveform is a recording of exactly what happened in the machine from one moment to the next. The units of vibration can be changed from the same screen by clicking on the mode button. In the setup option of the 6090, there is an ISO option. This opens up the ISO 10816 vibration limits chart. The user can select the type of machine they are monitoring and then all vibration readings will be displayed color-coded as per the standard. This proves to be a very useful tool for quick reference. Acceleration, velocity, displacement can all be measured with the 6090. A monitoring option allows you to log vibration readings successively at a predefined time interval. The units of vibration can be selected directly from the screen by clicking on the mode button. Press the monitoring button on the right of the screen to begin data logging of the vibration readings. The readings will be tabulated and displayed on the screen as per the interval set by the user. To stop the data logging, press the monitoring button again. To print the vibration monitoring data, connect the printer supplied with the 6090 and press the print key at the top of the screen. To save the data logging file, follow the same steps as for the FFT. Press the save button at the top of the screen and either choose or create the machine and location to add the data. This data can be viewed as well as printed again from the file menu. Two-plane and single-plane dynamic balancing can be performed in situ with the 6090. It has all the required vector calculation algorithms built into its program. Thus, the operator is freed from the task of determining the weights by calculations or hit and trial methods, resulting in vastly improved quick and accurate results. For single-plane balancing, select one plane from the home screen and then follow the instructions on the display. Step 1 is to take the initial vector reading. Press next then stop the rotor. Step 2 is to add the trial weight to the rotor. Make sure to measure the trial weight and input the same as shown in the demonstration. Step 3 is to run the rotor after addition of trial weight. After this, press next and stop the rotor to see the result displayed on the screen. Measure the result weight and do the correction on the rotor. Make sure to retain or remove the trial weight as per your selection. This selection is displayed at the bottom of the screen.
After making the correction as per the result, run the rotor again and press next to see the final readings in the verification run. After the verification run, the user has the option to press the trim button to further balance the rotor. However, if satisfied with the final readings, the user can press next to generate the balancing report of the rotor. This report can be printed with the printer supplied with 6090 by pressing the print button at the top of the screen. The report can be saved by pressing the save key also present at the top of the screen. For saving, same steps are to be followed as per FFT and vibration monitoring data saving routines. For two-plane balancing, press the two-plane option on the home screen. After that, select the settings for two-plane balancing as per your requirement and proceed to follow the instructions on the display. Step 1 is to take the initial vector reading of plane 1. Start the rotor, press next, and then stop the rotor. Now, measure the trial weight and add the same to plane 1. Enter the trial weight in the unit. After that, start the rotor, press next, and then stop the rotor. Step number three is to remove the trial weight from plane one and add the same trial weight to plane two. After that, start the rotor, press next, and stop the rotor. The final result will be displayed on the screen after the rotor is stopped. Now as per the result, measure the final weights and perform the correction on the rotor. Make sure to retain or remove the trial weight as per the setting selected. After performing the correction, switch on the rotor then press next to see the final readings in the verification run and then stop the rotor. After this, the user has an option to press the trim button to further reduce the unbalance. However, if satisfied with the readings then the report can be printed and saved at this point by pressing the next button. As always, the report can be found from the file option on the home page and in the machine and location as saved by the user. The FFT table, vibration monitoring data log and balancing reports can all be transferred to the PC if required by connecting the USB converter supplied with the unit. To transfer the tabular data to the PC, just connect the unit to the PC and then open the file that you want to transfer and press the print button. The table will be transferred to your PC terminal. From there you can save as per requirement. 